recommend at an Indian restaurant and both Rob and I got totally food poisoned that night. Guess whose bike won't start? Dun, dun, dun. Just slid and I went flying, the bike went flying and I did kind of a somersault into a ditch. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> Deep in the bowels of the heritage. Yep, we tore it all apart. Keep going. I left my wife on Sunday to come here. I left my heated gear. Oh my god. tell you what <clears throat> there's some things that I do uh, for work that are tough but this is not one of them check out this view oh, that's outside my hotel room downtown Nashville downtown Nashville here's where all the magic was happening here we go work 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 let's go get some dinner with Tassos and I swear this hallway is the longest hallway I'm all the way down there at the end I need to go all the way down this way. Almost there. Almost there. It's like a half a mile to the elevator. <laughs> I love the art that they have here. Nashville themed art. So cool. Look at this one. More Nashville. More Nashville. Let's see, microphone. All right, here's the mess hall. Now I gotta find Tassos. Uh, let's see, so Nashville tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock is 43, right? Yeah, so that'll that, be chilly. That'll be chilly and it doesn't actually warm up until noon, which gets to 60. So what do you think? Is that is that heated gear that's, weather? That's heated gear weather right there. It is. Huh? Now, here's the interesting thing. In my infinite wisdom, when I left my wife on Sunday to come here, I left my heated gear. Oh my god. With her because I didn't need it. Oh jeez. It's gonna be warm. Oh no. We didn't talk about this, but there was an epic Indian food story here, and Tassos and I survived it. Yeah, I mean, I, I recommended an Indian restaurant and both Rob and I got totally food poisoned that night. Uh, Rob missed half the meeting the next day. Hello, it was bad. I was sick all night. It was just ridiculous. So we're definitely not having Indian tonight. Yeah. We're having chicken. The misadventures of road travel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, chick chicken tonight. Chicken's always safe. I've chicken. never gotten sick from chicken. Yep, and it's Maddie B's. It's a famous chicken place in Nashville, so uh, we're going to try it out. Apparently, there's always a line around the corner, so we're going to have to wait a little bit, but it might be worth it. We'll figure it out. We, we've got nothing going on the rest of the night. 7 o'clock. We'll, we'll be in bed by 10. Oh. <laughs> Maddie B's! No, we are... Is it Maddie or is it Hattie? But I'm not sure. Maddie? Well, Hattie. Hattie? Hattie? Hattie. 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 Whatever. It's chicken. <laughs> oh, look at this. Okay. Woo! Look at that, man. So, that looks amazing. I, I hate it when people put food in their YouTube videos, but holy mackerel, this looks good. That was real good.
right, it's time for true confession time. True confessions of a biker. And actually, we, we don't have any hard evidence of this happening. So I, I think the event was just alleged. There was an alleged event. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna start by saying I noticed when we were going through Evansville that there was a guy in a truck that pulled up next to Tassos and said, hey, your bag is loose. And then I'm like, okay, well, surely there's a restaurant just like really quick. Well, nothing transpired. So we just pulled over on the side of the road. And then this alleged event happened. <laughs> I blame Rob. <laughs> I, did pick a, I did pick a very gravelly spot. <laughs> So Rob, Rob pulls over on the side of the road and uh, there was some area that was gra very gravelly so Rob picked that place as the preferred place to stop. <laughs> and uh, I got oh, off my... Allegedly. Yeah. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> I stopped my bike, uh, I put my feet down to, to steady myself and my, my shoe hit the gravel and just my foot just slid and I went flying, the bike went flying and I did kind of a somersault into a ditch. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Rob allegedly helped me out of the ditch. And then we allegedly lifted the bike back up. <laughs> and then we hit the road again. So it was a little fun little somersault and back on the road. And, and I would say that based on this alleged event, that any kind of damage to the motorcycle mm -hmm. uh, was very minimal. True. And and I think based and on to the rider too, it, you, yes. <laughs> and so like the alleged event, any evidence from the damage on the motorcycle is just circumstantial. Exactly. I mean, it could have been pff, someone Anything. brushed up against Very it. Minor. Yeah, yeah, Correct. definitely wasn't. It's true. <laughs> Didn't require any major repairs. That's right. Yeah, it's not a write-off. It's not totaled. <laughs> not totaled. Still rideable. Oh, the misadventures of motorcycling across country. <laughs> All right, boys and girls, here we go. Last day. By the end of the night, we'll be home. Here I am with my normal, walking out of the hotel with all of my junk routine. I need more stuff. <laughs> Good gravy. Okay, so let's see here. Wallet is in the wrong place. Phone is in the wrong place. The things you gotta do when you wear chaps. You can't use your pocket pants anymore. Okay, here we go. Let's go down to the bike. Man, I'm already hot. Yeah, lucky us. It's like uh, 30, 40 degrees and it's wet. Wait, are you wet? Wet seat. Wet seat. Yeah, I'd, I would not have expected condensation this morning. So I don't know about you, but I feel like now after we've been doing this for a few days, we're kind of getting the hang of it. <laughs> you more than I, but I am, I definitely know my bike a little better right now. I know it's quirks, so I feel pretty good. I hit the road once, the pavement. That was fun. Allegedly. 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 Uh, visited the, the devil's hairpin. That was great. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. <laughs> T-shirts we're heading coming. home. So let's go home. <sighs> let's do it. I'll tell you what, we, we got the bags packed up here. I remember yesterday we were still monkeying with the bags, trying to figure out the best way to get them on. And now I'm watching us put them on and it's like, yep, snip, snip, we're good. done. What's funny is every time I use them, I got to relearn. That's so true. I put them on and I'm like, oh yeah, that's how I did it last time. It's a bit of a pain. Check this out. I'm, oh, re I'm ready to get gear. plugged in. Heated gear. Getting this plugged in right here. So. Toasty. 
the only problem is, uh, I wonder if this is gonna re oh shit. <laughs> uh, uh oh. I wonder if it's gonna reach. Look, it's supposed to stick out a lot more than what it is. According to the instructions, it's supposed to stick out like four or five inches. Yeah, mine sticks out a lot further than that. So, so I can't, I can't pull it out any more than that. And this one come oh. down anymore, I think. That's gonna be cutting it close. Do you have any more cables? What do you mean cables? We gotta figure this out. Deep in the bowels of the heritage. Yep, we tore it all apart. Seat's gone, tour pack gone, bag gone. We were able to fish out his line. And now Tassos is looking for scissors so we can cut these zip ties here. <laughs> Limiting him to just that much cord. Oh man. Adventure. Adventure never stops. <laughs> so, we get all geared up. Get Tasso's bike put back together. He's able to plug in his heated gear. And then, guess whose bike won't start? Dun dun dun! <laughs> the battery's weak. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. We rode all day yesterday. We're on the bikes literally all day riding. I think the battery would be done, ready to go. No, it's not. So, lo and behold, Tassos brought his battery charger with him. What? So now, plugged in, just waiting for it to juice up enough where we can start it. Can't believe I can't believe you brought your battery charger with you. I, I carry that, that everywhere just in case. Are you a boy? That's one thing I did that was right. Are you a Boy Scout? <laughs> Is this a, always Eagle. be prepared, Eagle Scout? <laughs> oh man. <sighs> okay, back on the road. Two hundred and fifty dollars later. New battery. Uh, let's see here. What time is it? I think it's like 10.30 now. It's taking forever. <laughs> Good gravy. We're still in champagne. Boys at the Harley dealership helped us out. Bikes are ready to go. Gassed up. I still can't believe this happened. Battery was dead as a doorknob. Well, not as a doorknob. Dead enough to where it wouldn't start. After riding it all day. It's weird. All right, well, now we got to burn it back to Wisconsin. It's a force of nature. Have you feel stuck on the same?